Dear day grade 10 learners, welcome to our second quarter lesson in science, specifically on physics. In our previous video, we explored on the history and applications of visible light and ultraviolet. Today's topic is focused on X-ray and gamma ray. Our learning targets are identify how X-ray was discovered and its uses in medicine and industry, and identify how gamma rays was discovered and its uses in medicine, industry, and military. Let's start with X-ray. X-ray was discovered by Wilhelm Conrad Rowentgen in 1895. On the night of 5th of November 1895, he noticed a glow coming from a chemical called barium platinum cyanide. This chemical glowed whenever the tube was on, even if he put cardboard between it and the tube. Rowan Chen went on to show that the glow was caused by a highly penetrating but invisible radiation given off by the tube. It passed through paper, thin sheets of metal, and flesh. It could ionize gases and had wave properties like light, but only much shorter wavelengths. The new radiation was called X-rays because of their mysterious properties. Rowan Chen refused to patent the discovery or make any financial gain out of it, but he was awarded the first ever Nobel Prize for Physics. X-ray is produced when electron hits a metal. The higher the accelerating voltage, the faster the electron, the shorter the wavelength of the X-ray. It is used in medicine in X-ray scanning. It is used for examining internal structure of a body such as bone fracture, cysts, lung water, etc. It can pass through flesh except for bones. X-ray is also used in CT scanning. It is a computerized tomography scan that uses computer and rotating X-ray machines to create cross-sectional images of the body. These images provide more detailed information than normal X-ray images. It is also used in Security purposes, specifically in metal detection. X-ray is used for metal detection scanner in airports and food packaging quality control. In engineering, X-rays are used to check the flaws in welding joints, insulating materials, broken metal pipes, and machineries. Moving on, let's proceed to the gamma ray, the shortest wavelength and highest frequency among the electromagnetic spectrum. Gamma ray was discovered by Paul Ulrich Villard in 1900s. While studying the radium, he discovered a more powerful and more penetrating radiation than alpha and beta rays. Villard investigated the radiation from radium salts that escaped from a narrow aperture in a shielded container on a photographic plate through a thin layer of lead that was known to stop alpha rays. Villard's radiation was recognized as being of a type fundamentally different from previously named rays by Ernest Rutherford who, in 1903, named Villard's rays, gamma rays, by analogy with the beta and alpha rays that Rutherford had differentiated in 1899. Gamma ray is widely used in medicine in terms of PET scanning, radiation therapy, and gamma knife surgery. The PET scanning or positron emission tomography scanning has proved particularly useful for studying brain and heart functions and certain biochemical processes involving these organs. In a PET scan, a short-lived 
positron-emitting radioactive pharmaceutical is injected into the body. Radiation therapy is also called radiation oncology, radiotherapy, or therapeutic radiology, the use of ionizing radiation or high-energy radiation that displaces electrons from atoms and molecules to destroy cancer cells. Gamma knife surgery is used to treat malignant and cancerous tumors by concentrating beams of gamma rays directed to tumors to kill cancerous cells. Not only in medicine, gamma ray is also used in the industry in the field of engineering, security, food industry, and energy source. In industrial scanning, focusing on industrial radiography, the sections of structures are bombarded with gamma rays which safely pass through the metal. The metal is then observed by portable gamma cameras which show a darkening of the weak points in the structure on a photographic image. In vehicle and container imaging systems, it was begun in 2002 where the Container Security Initiative has been employing the use of vehicle and container imaging systems that use gamma rays in much the same way as diagnostic medicine to take gamma ray images of cargo as it is being imported and exported from the United States. Irradiation was also used in food industry where cobalt-60 is used to preserve food in the same way as they are used to sterilize medical equipment in that they irradiate decay-causing bacteria. A nuclear power plant uses unstable radioactive elements such as cobalt, uranium, and plutonium that are used to produce tremendous amount of energy through nuclear fission that takes place in a nuclear reactor. When an unstable radioactive element undergo nuclear fission, it breaks down into 83% of kinetic energy or the fission fragments, 11% of beta and alpha rays, and 3% of gamma rays. These are used as an alternative source of energy. Did you know that the world's first nuclear power plant was built in 1954? Obinins nuclear power plant was the world's first nuclear power station to generate electricity for a power grid located at Obininsk, USSR. Today, Many countries rely on the nuclear power plant in sustaining the production of electricity. Here are the top 5 countries with operating nuclear reactors. First is the United States of America having 96 nuclear reactors and one of them is the Catawba II. Second is France having 56 operating nuclear reactors and Cruz nuclear power plant is one of them. Third on the place is China having 49 operating nuclear reactors and Fuking power plant is one of them. Fourth is Russia having 38 operating nuclear reactors and Rosnergatom is one of them. And fifth on the list is Japan having 33 operating nuclear reactors and Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant is one of them. The discovery of gamma ray was led not only in providing alternative source of energy but also in military purposes making nuclear weapons. The colonization leads to the discovery of the atomic bomb. An atomic bomb is an explosive device in which its destructive force is a result of nuclear reactions that creates a big mushroom-like cloud that contains radioactive materials including gamma ray emission. In December 7, 1941, Japan bombed 
the Pearl Harbor, a U.S. naval base in Honolulu, Hawaii. That led to the entry of the U.S. in the World War II. The U.S. was the first country to manufacture nuclear weapons and use it against Japan four years later after the attack on the Pearl Harbor. U.S. dropped Little Boy, a uranium-235 in Hiroshima on August 6, 1945, and dropped Fat Man, a plutonium-239 in Nagasaki on August 9, 1945. The two bombing killed 129,000 to 226,000 people, mostly civilians, which led Japan to surrender on 15th of August. Months after the bombing, people continued to die from the effects of burns, radiation sickness, and injuries compounded by illness and malnutrition. So these are the applications of X-ray and gamma ray. If you have more idea to share about this topic, please comment down in our comment section. Let me end by this saying, there is no safe amount of radiation. Even small amounts do harm by Linus Pauli. Thank you for watching. For more video lessons, follow the Facebook page or YouTube channel of Exploring Physics with Teacher Val. See you!